What's going on everybody, GameSI back with another video. Now a couple of weeks ago I was talking with David Birdsell of David Birdsell Does Retro Games Badly Fame and came up with a little idea that we would send each other just a box of random tat that we've got lying around. Might make for a decent video. It'll at least give us something to look forward to. And if nothing else, it's a good way to clear out some of the crap that we've all got accumulating in our games rooms. Right, he has the package from David Birdsell. Um, just scribbled out my address. I live in Jarrow. Um, cheers, David. Um, I've got to see what's in here. I'm not sure why you didn't put my name on it. I've confused the postman. But uh, yeah, um, when you said you were going to send us a package of uh, some games, I didn't expect it to be quite so massive. Who were? But let's have a look and see what we've got. And I'm afraid that's all the footage I actually have of the unboxing due to my camera phone having a bit of a spaz and not recording anything beyond that. Fast forward a few days when I've bought a new camera and we'll have a look what I actually got. So, new camera on the go. Let me show you what was inside that box. Unfortunately, you're going to miss my initial reaction which involves some swearing because David's a bit of a tinker and the top of the box when he opened it was covered in these games. It was Pro Evo 2010, Pro Evo 2008, FIFA 10, Champions League, Pro Evo 6, Pro Evo 4, another Champions League game, Pro Evo, and the mighty This Is Football. So you can imagine the swearing that was going on when I'm thinking I've got a box of old football games. But that's just David trying to be funny. There was other stuff in the box once I got underneath these. So the games I found in the box from David were... There's first of all some Game Gear games. There was... Donald Duck, the Lucky Down Caper. Marvel Madness. And Sega Game Pack 4 in 1. Well, as well as those, there was some Spectrum stuff, which I guess you'd expect from David. There was a couple of cover tapes. There was Ghostbusters, Molecule Man, Skating USA, still managed to get one other football game in there, Gary Link has Hot Shot, Jackie and Wade, no Jackal and Wade, sorry. I don't know that one. Yeah. Quattro Sports. Universal Hero. Airwolf. Nigel Mansell's Grand Prix. Zoom. So I'm going to pack this on one of the videos. And Kickstart 2. So a nice bunch of ZX Specky games. Uh, he wasn't done there. He included some other random stuff. Um, a Scott Splitter for some reason. I guess you can never have too many. Um, a rewritable disc. <laughs> no idea. A copy of Sonic the Hedgehog. Which is complete and nice. Did it possibly under the impression that I'm the one person in the retro gaming community who does not own Sonic the Hedgehog. Keep wrong. Um, Burnout Revenge, which is a great PS2 racer. Buzz. And the best game in the lot, by far, 
something I actually don't have. This is Microcosm for the Amiga CD32. Always good to get another CD32 game. Please with that, I'll have to give that a bit of a play. Hard to find Amiga CD32 games in the wild, you almost never find them, so any ones I can get I'm happy with. And one more thing he put in, but actually there was a few more things, there was loads of bags of Haribo, but they've all gone now. Um, and there was also, he's still getting a toy, as I like me, retro toys. That's Rhino from Mask. Seeing better days, it's a little bit uh, worn. That might be a little project. My dad hand with a paintbrush, you know, so I might, I might see if I can touch that up a bit, or I might just look nice on my shelf, being all 80s and masky. So yeah, that was my random surprise package from David Birdsell. He plays retro games badly, don't you know? I've sent him a package which you'll be seeing him open at some point. Should be arriving with him any day. I didn't. I resisted the urge just to pack up his football games and send them back instead. But uh, yeah, a bit of fun, a bit of a laugh, just clear out some of the clutter we've all got. I've been Gamersai. Keep it hard. <laughs>